My name's Heidi. I work for Samwell School Nurses as a nurse and today I'm going to read you a story called I'm Too Absolutely Small for School by Lauren Child. I have this little sister Lola. She is small and very funny. Now mum and dad say she is nearly quite big enough to go to school. Lola's not so sure. Lola says, I'm absolutely not big. I'm still quite small. She says, I probably do not have time to go to school. I am too extremely busy doing important things at home. I say, at school you will learn numbers and how to count up to 100. And Lola says, I, I don't need to learn up to 100. I already know up to 10 and that's plenty. I have 10 fingers and I also have 10 toes and I never eat more than 10 biscuits in one go. 10 is enough. But Lola, I say, what if 11 eager elephants wanted a treat? How would you count up that many treats? Well, Lola says, I'm not quite sure. I say, what about learning your letters, Lola? If you know how to write, you can send cards to people that you like. And Lola says, I like to talk on the phone. It's much more friendly and it's straight away. But not everybody has a telephone, you know, Lola, I say. Who doesn't, says Lola. Father Christmas, I say. You have to write him a special note and put it up the chimney to tell his little helpers your Christmas wish. Otherwise, the little helpers might get your wish muddled up. I didn't know that, Charlie, says Lola. And Lola will say, don't you want to read words? And then you'll be able to read your own books and under, understand secret messages written on the fridge. Lola says, I know lots of secrets. I don't need to read words. And I've got all my books in my head. If I can't remember, I can just make them up. But Lola, I say, what would you do if there was an ever so angry ogre who would not go to sleep unless you read him his favourite bedtime story? Oh, I don't know, Charlie, says Lola. Then Lola says, I would like to read to an ogre and count up elephants and put notes up the chimney, but I absolutely will not wear a school uniform. I do not like wearing the same as other people. I say, but Lola, you don't always have to wear a school uniform at our school. Sometimes you can wear what you like. Oh, says Lola, you wait there. I know exactly what I can wear. Well, Lola, I say, that certainly suits you, but you cannot go to school dressed as a crocodile. Lola says, this is not a crocodile. This is an alligator. And I say, you can't really go as an alligator either. Why not, says Lola, because alligator is for best. For school, stripes look nice. Really, says Lola. I like to wear stripes, says Lola. But what will I do at lunchtime? You know, I will not ever, ever eat school dinners. My sister Lola is fussy about food. I say, but Lola, you can take your own pack lunch in your very own lunchbox. And Lola says, I don't want to eat at school alone or by myself on my own. I say, but Lola, at school you'll meet lots of new friends and you can have lunch with one of them. And then Lola says, but I already have my friend Soren Lawrenson and I would like to have lunch with him at home. Soren Lawrenson is Lola's invisible friend and no one knows what he looks like. I say, well, Soren Lawrenson will be going to school too. And what will he do if he can't sit next to you? Oh, you're right. Soren Lawrenson is a bit slightly nervous to be at school on his own. I will absolutely have to go too, says Lola. Walking to school, Lola is all wobbly. And she says, Soren Lawrenson is feeling slightly not very well. He's worried he will not be able to count numbers or do letters or read words. 
and no one will talk to him, so he'll be all by himself, all on his own. Lola, I say, it will be okay, you'll be fine. I bet you'll both have a really good time, and after school, we'll have pink milk at home. But all day, I'm worried, and I don't see her at break time, and she's nowhere at lunchtime. I can't find her at home time, and she's not by her peg. But then there she is, and she's not all alone by herself. She's hopping along home with somebody else. At home, I say, Lola, I told you you would have a good time. And Lola says, oh, I know, Charlie. I wasn't worried at all. It was Soren Lawrenson who was nervous, not me. I was fine. We hope you really enjoyed that story.